Hello Zekers, I guess every dropshipper wants to know how to turn X amount of dollars into triple X amount of dollars. So let's cut to the chase. For this particular business model that I'll show you, you need to have a minimum operational experience. That means you need to have at least one store that is functional and profitable. Before we move on, let's talk about one thing that will challenge us the most along the way to reach our goal. And that is the skill to maintain a healthy continuity without taking unnecessary risks. You might ask yourself, what are these risks? Well, one, uploading overly expensive products. Two, disregarding customer service. Three, lack of knowledge of a store that works. And four, incorrect and sometimes excessive use of promoted listings promotions. Do not overdo the promotion of excessive lists beyond your profits percent. The secret is to maintain your work and customer service at the highest level with quick customer replies and accurate market research. Find knowledge from the right places and always take control of everything that happens in your store. With that being said and done, let me show you step by step how to make X amount of dollars into triple X amount of dollars. Stage one is making a plan. At this point, we will sit down and write our plan in depth to know the actions to take from the beginning to the end. This way you will avoid mistakes. What is important to build this plan is to have work order. Always keep your work area clean and focus on what you do to minimize mistakes and maximize efficiency because any small distractions can lead to a mistake and every mistake can lead you off your plan. The next step is to choose a name for your store. For those who want to go the extra mile, I also recommend store design. After that, choose which supplier suppliers you would like to work with and go through all of the settings, such as if your shipping policies, returns, payment methods are correct. In fact, you will go over everything you have already done in your first store and try to do it better. Once you have tested everything, it is time to upload your products correctly. When it comes to a brand new store, I recommend advanced preparation of the store, meaning open and connecting it to the right tools. PayPal, for example. Okay, at this stage, I take into account that your store is ready to start listing items. So let's do it systematically. In the first week, you won't load more than two products a day for seven days. This will bring you to a maximum of 14 products after one week. Here is the recommended step to connect inventory management software like Autodes tools, for example. In the second week, you will increase the amount of three products per day and reach 36 products in the store by the weekend. In the third week, you will leave the store with the same amount of daily products. And this is to highlight the other parameters in the store. During the third week, you will want to examine in depth the traffic of your products and check the results of your market research to examine the work and continue in the right direction. In addition, you you can check your item specifics and improve them accordingly. You can improve the titles with the help of Zeke's Title Builder tool to improve traffic. Also, you can improve the main picture of the products you sold. You can edit the image using specific software or choose a better image from Google or from the supplier's website. We will check that our customer service meets the highest criteria and sales start to flow. Before we move on to the fourth week, I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Please consider subscribing to our channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics. Thanks. So in the fourth week, according to the results, you will have after three weeks of activity, you will be able to move forward and go up to five listings per day. Here we summarize our first month of activity. At the end of this month, your expected sales, according to your level, should be 6,000 to 8,000. 
thousand dollars at least in sales not profit in the first month you can stand on a general profit of five percent which is considered low to be between three hundred and four hundred dollars in the first month you can choose to earn less and run the store faster according to the control loss strategy method in the most important moment of your store's activity is the first month in the second month you will continue with the exact same activity five lists per day while maintaining the quality of market research to generate as much sales as you can at the end of the second month after you are already in the advanced stages of development of the store you will see a sales growth of at least ten thousand dollars or more in sales with a minimum profit of seven to ten percent on your sales do not forget that at the moment, every new store works with PayPal or with managed payment. But in every new store, we also have holds on the money for the first weeks of our new store. At this stage, we do want to make sure that all orders arrive on time, customer service on the best side and without compromise. Although we have a slow cash flow at the start, we still need to be at our best. The third month is the month where the magic happens. This month, the holds on your money are starting to be completely released given that you have acted properly and your cash flow is flowing more, which will allow you to grow. So this month, as you continue the same quality market research, you are using Zeke and getting to list 10 products a day. At this point, we would like to remove products that have been in our store for more than a month without sales. At the end of the third month, you will see no less than a sales of $15,000 per month with a minimum of 10% profit that will bring you to a profit of $15,000 Per month. At the end of the three months, even if you succeed at the lowest level, you will still earn a minimum of a thousand dollars a month when you start from nothing. And from here, you can continue to grow even more. It is very important to keep the average product price as high as we can afford when we are working on percent margins versus amount of operations we want to maximize our profit as much as possible. Stage two, choosing the right items to make a profit. This is a crucial part and this is why I'll take my time to show you how to do proper market research. Let's go ahead and find 10 items with good profit. So let's jump into my computer. And then from here, we're gonna jump into the product research of Zeke Analytics. In this session, we're gonna find 10 profitable items to go from our X to our triple X in 90 days. So first we're going to work with my file here. So this is going to be used just to save the items. So here we're going to see the suppliers link. In this, our case, it's Walmart. Then we have the eBay link. So let's start with mainstays. But first we want to keep the high minimum product price of $35 to $40. And the maximum should be around $85 to $90. And the number of feedback is 10. And we're going to do that in the 30 days. So we have mainstays, we're gonna go ahead and click on search. And this is a Walmart brand. So right now we're going to go ahead and search it. You can see that Walmart is booming. And now our next step is to find some drop shippers to snipe. As you can see, we have prepared some of these for you in advance. And now we're actually gonna go through the live together to find 10 profitable items. We want the hottest items that we can get. I usually like to search from end so now we're only going to pick the best of the best items. As you know um, from previous videos, we prefer a minimum of five sales in the 30 day sales. Okay, so here in the next seller. So here we have $13,000 in sale earnings, 121 active listings, and this guy is selling cheap Walmart items. If we can take this number of 13,000 and divide it by the average product price of let's say $50, we are decreasing the action of our business and increasing our profit. So I'm not gonna take anything from this seller. Moving on to the next one. Here we have a French seller. The average product price is $47. And we're going to take his highlights. 
So you just click on the title to open it up on eBay. So we try to get up to five items. Moving on to our next competitor. Here we have a seller coming from the United States. Let's choose this first one here. Next seller, 28,000, average product price of 1284. Not good. Let's move on. Same one. Moving on. Here's a 50k average product price 34, but we can see that the feedback score is really low. And we prefer to go on the quality and not the quantity. You can see that his best sellers are cheap, but let's go ahead and select a few products. See, this one is $106. Here we have a seller with a really good average product price. Here you can see for total sales over 82,000. So if we go from 1% from 82K or 1% from 13, so this is $132 against 820 per percent. So those two stores made almost the same actions. You have to understand that every order is in action. So if I sold a $1 item or a $1,000 item, we're doing it the same way. So this is the reason and the main reason we want a high average product price. So now we're gonna go to the product list and take a few of his items. I'm going to take the highlights and the good highlights. Moving on to our next seller, let's take this one piece from this seller and this dog kennel. So here at this stage, we have already a few items. So I'm just gonna go quickly here and select a couple more items from these sellers that we have. This one is nice, feedback score, but this is not a good seller. Not good average numbers. Same, not good. Here the seller has a good average price, some nice sales. We can't say nothing too bad about the seller, but we can't really tell if this is a full-time drop shipper. You can see that he's not just a drop shipper, he's selling stuff from home. That's why he has good sales and bad numbers. Next, we're going to go ahead and add these items to our list. So now we're going to find 10 profitable items to list. So here we're gonna try to make some profit in our new strategy. As we did this before, we are trying to find the item by its title. So what we're gonna do is copy the title, right click, and then click on search on Google. So here you can see it shows up here on Google. It's one of the first listings, actually the second to be exact. You can go ahead and click on it and it will open it up in Walmart. So let me actually move this e uh, Walmart product on this side here so we can compare on eBay so we can see it better. Okay, so let's go ahead and take out our calculator and check out if there's a profit to be made. So we're gonna do 97.49 minus 15%, which is our basic break even. We get 82 bucks minus 77.98. And we have an almost $5 profit, about 5% of the purchase price. But let's check it to be sure. 97.49 divided by 100. And let's go up to 5% and we have $4.87, which is about 5%. And $5 is the minimum amount that you should be looking for when trying to make a profit. So now we're going to put this item into our file by Go ahead and copying the link. And our supplier is Walmart, so we're gonna put that link there. And this item is already successful. We wanna take his item and put it in the title builder. We wanna improve the pictures and of course the item specifics. And just to upgrade and make it a little bit better. And of course about the product. Um, the description is very, very poor. We can make it better. And you can see that it sold tons of it, 219 pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and write in the supplier. In this case, we're using Walmart. So we can go ahead and type in the supplier. And in this case, we are using Walmart. 
And what's cool is that you can actually uh, either pick Walmart as your supplier and then move on to a different supplier and try to find the same exact items. That way you can compare and contrast. Okay, perfect. So now we have our first item as we can see. Let's go ahead and move on to our other product, product number two. So again, copy the title, search for it in Google, look for Walmart in Google. Let me just try and get sorted here. Let's close this one. Find this item here in Walmart. I think it's this one right here. We'll go with this. It's almost not the same item. You can also search it with the picture. So you go ahead and right click, click on the image, and then go ahead and search Google for image. And again, it's giving us another item. Let's see if we can check. Mm, doesn't look like it. Maybe I'm missing something. One last check just to make sure all the photos I am looking at are the one item. Searching here on the images on Amazon, on Walmart, sorry. In the description, you can see that we have UPC. And in the description, they sometimes have the monitor. But this one is a smart one. He's using a special thing that's actually not allowing me to copy his description. You can go ahead and copy the UPC or search for it in Google. It's another way to find an item. Let me just get my computer settings here. And we still can't find it. So this one's really good at hiding his product. So we're gonna go and move on to the next item. Every item is different and it's important to know when to give up. So we're actually going to go ahead and search this one. Again, same process. Look for it in Walmart. This is a two pack. Here, two pack. Here on eBay, it's selling for $33.19. So let's take out our calculator here. 33.19. Minus 15% equals $28.21. Minus $26.99. Here we have $1.22 as a profit. I really suggest that the people who want to use Walmart as their supplier to use the Walmart Plus. It's important to give you a note here. I suggest that if you were going to use Walmart as your supplier, start with using the Walmart Plus program. Because they offer free shipping, it's new and it's good for us. And you can use it to get free shipping on all of the items that cost 35 bucks or lower. Here we have this dog kennel. Let's go ahead and search for it here on Google. Open it up and you can see it's selling on Walmart for $124 on eBay $122, but there are different sizes. So let's check how many of these 20 items sold at what prices. In order to make a good profit, we need to get it around 90 bucks from our supplier. So now we're actually gonna go ahead and search this item by the photo. So again, same process, click on the image, search for it on Google. And it doesn't look like they have it. Again, another quick look here in Walmart. They can play tricks that one thing looks like the other, but it's actually a different item. Okay, so we're moving on to the next item. Do you guys see how powerful Zeek Analytics is? It has helped over 60,000 sellers in the last four years. By the way, it's currently 50% off on all monthly fees. So take advantage of it today. The link is in the description. So we're again, we're gonna search for it on Google. This is a really good item to start with and there are different variations. So here on eBay, it's selling for $49.65. Again, copying the link. Here we can see the differences between the sales, the sales price. 
So let's go ahead and actually just check it. 49.97 minus 15% equals $7.49 minus the 39.97 from Walmart. And we actually have a $2.50 profit. But this is not the 5% we're looking for. Sorry, I forgot to put this link here on our list to just a second. I am suggesting you list both variations of this item. One red one, one black one. And it's a good item to have all year round. Another item here, 62 bucks. Let's go ahead and search for it. Same process again eBay, Walmart, and on Walmart it's selling for $24.95. This is a really nice one. So now we're going to teach you a nice trick. Here you can see this item sold good, but it's coming in four pieces. Okay, so let's take the calculator. 62.78. Now you're going to see some magic happen. Because when we go to Walmart, you can see that the buying price, the purchase price is really low. So in this situation, it's a bundle, so of four pieces. So minus 15% minus the 24.94. Again, minus 24.94. And here you're left with a $3.4 profit. So this item sold 31 times. Now he is listing the item in four packs and here we have two, but he's being creative. So everyone who knows his way around cars knows that we need four of those, not just two. This is a good one and I really like his strategy, so I'm going to save it. Go ahead and copy the link from eBay and from Walmart. Moving on to the next one. Okay, so this item is out of stock. So if this seller doesn't have it, it's probably out of stock. Moving on to our next item. Now this is a great looking item. Again, what you do, copy the title, search for it on Google. And once we find it, just go ahead and click on the link. Okay, so here we have a nice one. It's not really the same colors. So let's go ahead and search for some of these items. So this one here actually looks pretty same, pretty much the same as this one here on eBay. So yep, so here you have the option to sell it in multiple variations. Not sure about this profit, but let's go ahead and calculate it anyways. 57.8 minus 15% minus the 45.99 we get 2.5 dollars in profit so let's go ahead and save the links it's important to have them let's look at this item this heavy duty shelf thing same process guys just search for the title on Google. Here it is. You can see that it's more expensive on eBay than it is in Walmart. Walmart seems to be the new Amazon. Okay, so we put in here all of our information and let's proceed to our next item. Again, same process. So I actually want to skip this one because it seems like a more of a winter product but for some reason people use this one for a variety of things healthcare back pain and i as i can remember i think this is an amazon item but let's go ahead and check so let me go with this specific picture and search for it here on google seems to be an amazon item at this stage, we don't want to be stuck on items. We want to keep moving. So we want to take the best of the best. This, I think, is almost Amazon, also Amazon, but I think it's out of stock anyways. So moving on to our next item. 
This one is interesting, even though it does say out of stock, I'm still going to go ahead and search for it. See price in the cart, only one left. So let's get into the cart. Estimated total of $73.99 here on eBay, 103. This is nice, I had a hunch and a good one. So let's go ahead and calculate. And just because this item is out of stock or only has one item left, it's important to copy the links and watch this item because these types of items always go in and out. So here when we calculate it, we can see we have a $14 profit. So this is nice. So we want to keep it for sure. We're actually going to go ahead and copy it, paste it, and even though it's out of stock, we are going to keep an eye on it. So moving on to this item, vacuum cleaners are always selling good. Here in Walmart, $39.96, eBay, $47. Easy money. Okay, continuing our next item. 13 gallon heavy duty hunting deer game feeder. So we're going to actually go ahead and search this item. Okay, so here $90 on eBay, 78 in Walmart. So let's go ahead and check it. This is one of those controlled lost items. It's just bringing credibility to the store but it's an expensive item because you're not making a profit out of it. So now we have, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we need two more items here in Walmart, $52.98, this item, and it's free shipping, $52.98 minus 15%. Which leaves us with nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. My bad. 60.95 minus 15%. We get $51. So it seems like we do have some cash back, but it's not the best. We won't even save that and we'll move on to the next item. So here we have a TV, and I'm not a big fan of selling electronics as a new seller, but this video isn't directly for new sellers. People do come here with some experience. So electronics are common when dropshipping. When you're a starter though, you should not sell electronics because they do come with problems. Here you can see it's only a 3.5% bucks for sale and it's a high average price it's an expensive item and every percent of cash back we can get here so it's a lot of money and let's go ahead for that reason to save all of the links and every average or so drop shipper knows how to use cash back so here we have this shelf Check it on Google to find it on Walmart. Why is this shelf selling so much? $46.50 and in Walmart, there is no profit here actually. $39.88. Checking this trampoline. And this is our 10th item. This is the 10th item and I hope we have a winner. And we do. So when you sell big items, you're getting better credibility. And when you buy expensive items, you can get a good cash back. So I get like three more bucks per cash back on this item. So that's like six bucks per sale. And this is the reason why I'm going to save these two links for this specific item. So the supplier and the competitor here, and those are the 10 items that we want to sell.
If you fail, the only thing that will happen to you is you gain more knowledge and experience to move on to the next store. There is no danger if you work correctly with the account because blockages and suspensions come only as a result of wrong activity. So you see, with the right place of knowledge and the right tools, you can be earning a great profit by selling on eBay. That is all for now. If you have any questions regarding this topic, please leave them down below in the comments section and we will do our best to answer them. Thanks guys. Have a good one.